There are five access levels available in C-sharp. These are public, protected, internal, protected internal, and private. To show their differences, let's define one field for each access level. The default access level for fields and methods are private, so writing private here is optional. In our first test, we can see that all members, regardless of access levels, are accessible in the class where they are declared. This is the only place where the private member can be accessed. A protected member can also be accessed in a derived class, but it fails when trying to access the member from outside the class. The internal member can be accessed anywhere within this program, but not from another assembly. To demonstrate this, we'll set the base class to public and add an empty main method since this program is set to become an executable. We can now compile the class into a publicly available assembly. Next, we'll open up the Solution Explorer and right-click on the solution to add a new project. Create the console application, the same as before. We then need to add a new reference to this project by right-clicking on References. Choose the Projects tab and import the first project's assembly. We now gain access to our public class from this program. To help distinguish between the code files, we'll go ahead and give this one a new name. If we now try to access the members from here, we find that both internal and protected internal members have become inaccessible because we're outside of the assembly where they are declared. Since protected internal access means either protected or internal, we can make that member accessible here from inside a class deriving from the base class of our first project. The last access level is public, which gives unrestricted access from anywhere we can reach the member. Now let's return to our main project to look at class access levels. To be able to see this class from the other assembly, we had to mark it as public. By default, the class is made internal, and these two are the only access levels allowed to a top-level class. Classes can also contain inner classes, which can be set to either one of the five access modifiers. These access levels have the same effect to inner classes as they do to other members. If the class is inaccessible, it cannot be instantiated or inherited. By default, their access level is private, so they can only be used within the class where they are defined.